EV startup Rivian is taking a page out of Tesla's book and will be launching their own exclusive DC fast charging network. Let's talk about why this is such a smart move by Rivian and make some comparisons to Tesla's own supercharging network. I'm Jonathan and welcome to Cleaner Watt. One of the big selling points of buying a Tesla vehicle is their impressive charging network. Not only are Tesla's chargers fast and convenient, but they are available almost everywhere you go. Rivian also understands the importance of a charging network to their future success, and they are installing their own charging network. Here are the details that Rivian recently put out about what they're calling their adventure network. The Rivian adventure network will be exclusive for Rivian owners. By the end of 2023, they plan to have 600 plus individual charging locations with 3,500 plus DC fast charging plugs. They also mentioned that initially these chargers will be 200 kilowatt plus chargers and will move to 300 plus in the future. It's also important that they note here that they will be powered by 100% renewable energy. When Rivian first started talking about their charging network, there was an emphasis on making sure there were charging locations near national parks and maybe in national parks. And that's something they are doing, which we'll talk about in a minute. But it's also important that as they state here, these chargers will be conveniently located on highways and main roads, often by cafes and shops. So just like Tesla's supercharging network, this Rivian network will be very convenient for those not only in remote locations at national parks, but also for those that are looking to just travel across the country in the Rivian R1T or the Rivian R1S. On Rivian's website, they do have this map showing what their charging network will look like at the end of 2023. And as you can see, most of the chargers are located in the United States, but there are a few in Canada as well. It's also good that they're going to have some chargers in Alaska and Hawaii as well. Now, Rivian's charging network is not going to end with just their fast chargers or DC fast chargers, but they're also going to have Rivian, what they're called Rivian waypoints. That's going to be very similar to Tesla's destination chargers. Currently, Tesla has a number of destination chargers at different businesses, hotels, and different places like that where you can plug in your Tesla vehicle if you're a patron of that particular business. In a similar way, Rivian is rolling out their Rivian waypoints and they plan to have 10,000 plus chargers by the end of 2023. These waypoints will allow convenience for Rivian drivers to be able to just pull up and plug in. And this Rivian waypoint network will be open to the public for all EVs. These chargers will have around a level two charging speed of 11.5 kilowatts and should be able to deliver around 25 miles of range for every hour of charging in their vehicles. It's also important that they noted that all 42 Colorado State Parks will have two Rivian waypoints each. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I think it's important that we do a basic comparison of the Tesla supercharging network and the Rivian adventure network and uh, look at not only where it is going to be at the end of 2023, but also where Tesla was at that same time, you know, a year and a half to two years into building out their charging network. I want to show just how impressive if Rivian is able to meet their goals, how impressive this is going to be and how important this is going to be for Rivian's future. So Tesla currently has over 2,000 supercharger stations, and this is globally, and they currently have over 20,000 individual superchargers. The charge rates of these superchargers vary all the way from 72 kilowatts for their urban chargers and all the way up to 250 kilowatts for their version 3 superchargers. If you do the basic math, they have an average of around 10 chargers per supercharging location. If Rivian is able to meet their plans, by the end of 2023, they will have over 3,500 fast DC chargers with rates of over 200 kilowatts. This will mean an average of five to six fast chargers at every Rivian location. Now in the comparison when it comes to the number of chargers by the end of 2023 and where Tesla will be by the end of 2023, obviously Rivian has a long way to catch up. However, Rivian is moving very, very quickly, and if you look at the rate that they plan to roll these out, it's actually quite a bit faster than what Tesla did initially. In January of 2013, Tesla had eight supercharging locations. In January of 2016, they had 585 locations. 
So it took Tesla around three years to go from eight superchargers to 585 locations. Rivian is planning to have 600 plus charging locations in less than two years. It's also important to note that all of Rivian's chargers, they say, will be over 200 kilowatts, whereas Tesla has a lot of chargers, the urban chargers, that are 72 kilowatts and quite a few, the vast majority that are somewhere around 150 kilowatts. While that's still impressive and important, these Rivian chargers are going to be very fast chargers and a lot of them will be faster than what Tesla is rolling out. When you have all this in mind, it becomes really exciting what Rivian is doing. Yes, they have a lot to catch up with Tesla, but they're moving very quickly and they're making a lot of the right decisions and a lot of the right calls. I really do believe that Rivian is going to be successful in the EV market and I'm really happy to see them investing in a charging network of their own. In just a few years, I believe driving a Rivian across the United States will be just as convenient as driving a Tesla is today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button because it helps other people find the video as well. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.